Hey guys, it's Dustpox back here. What is going on? Dustpox. What is going on? Hello, 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 my friends. How are you doing? Dustpox back here, and today is a very, very special episode of the Chexmex server for me. Uh, I'll give you a hint. It has to do with the number of videos that I have made for the Chexmex server so far. Anybody got a guess at to what that number is? Anybody got a guess? Anybody at all? I can't believe I just fell down here. That's right, we're on episode 50, and I've done a little something, and we're going to do a little something, and this might be a little bit of an extra long episode, or something might happen special today. But we're going to do a couple things I've got planned out. I don't know exactly how long this is going to take, but uh, happy 50th birthday or 50th episode to the Chexmex. Um, I think I'm the first one on the Chexmex server to make it to 50 episodes on here, so I'm very excited about that. And uh, I'm, I'm excited to show you guys some of the plans I've got for today. Uh, one of the biggest plans is... Uh, we're going to go around and we're going to let everybody know that this is the 50th episode. We're going to put giant 50s everywhere. I've already started, although this has kind of been... It doesn't really count because it's my place. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> I put a giant 50 in the arena. You'll be able to see it momentarily. Also, while we're doing this, I thought it would be a good day to sit back and reminisce and uh, just think about everything that we've done on the server so far, how we started, just tell some stories for those of you who are new subscribers to me, just give you a little background on everything. And uh, first I just want to, I wanted to start the video over here, but I decided I was going to come over here anyway to do it later. So uh, yeah, actually it's just going to be a server tour kind of day. So yeah, so <laughs> Sims Arrows are still over here, he was over here looking at this earlier. So it is the 50th episode, let's get a strange, uh, a screenshot of this. Two, F1, F2, 50 episodes on the Chexmex server, hot diggity dang. So, um, let's go start over the spawn, and we'll get this tour started. Where is the sun? The sun is going down already? Man, I am just the slowest person ever. Alright, so, yeah, so what I want to do, the basic, the basic gist of today's episode is just going to be going over and uh, reminiscing, seeing, spawn, our house, everything that we've... Uh, built so far in here, everything that is built, everything that we could possibly do, and over here is the arena, but we'll, we'll come back here, don't worry, because uh, actually we're coming right back here after we see the spawn. <laughs> so yeah, hot diggity dang, so pumped, so pumped, so pumped! <laughs> this is like the, not the longest up series I've done, I think my first single player series was the longest that I ever had. I think that went to 80-something episodes. Hey, Sims on! Cool, cool. So this is the spawn area. And if you guys were with us in the beginning, you may remember this was actually made out of bedrock. We uh, we went into creative to make the spawn area really quickly. Well, and then... Hello. 50th episode. Anyway, um, and then... All we did was make, like, a little platform here out of bedrock. That's all we did when creative. And then... EMQ came on and got really upset with that. It was me and Max starting on the server, and then EMQ got on and was really, really upset about the fact that we went into creative for that. So we took down everything we built in creative, and I built this legit just to make him happy. And it turns out it actually is a lot better. And then we went over here, and uh, I started building my house right there, and we built the park right here. And then... Mex started building his house, and we invited Rigo onto the server. And Rigo here built this right away. This is actually the exact house that he built for his contest entry. And I have my house here, which is uh, is being repaired. <laughs> in Mex's house, Blackjack, who's on every once in a while, but I never seem to catch him anymore. Let's see, who else do we have? Sim, Mrs. Simoniotti. Uh, Blackjack's one of our newest members, besides No Hope, who lives over there. And uh, EMQ, and all those sorts of guys. So yeah, this is the spawn area. We did a lot of work on here. A lot of hours have been put into this area. We've got some cool episodes working on this stuff over here. So yeah, let's move on, and we'll head back to my place, and we'll reminisce about everything. Actually, do you know what I want to do? I want to do this legit. Uh, so, Sim, are you near bed? 
Sim is actually working on something very cool for Team Pink right now. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to show you that later. Not today, though. Not today. Okay. Oh, not yet, buddy. <laughs> Sun's not down. We're actually gonna we're gonna try to avoid going through the Nether as much as possible today, because I want you guys to get a good idea of where everything exactly is. No, oh, poor Sim logged off. He doesn't want to be here anymore. Is he coming back? Oh, doesn't look like he's coming back. So let's head over to my place. I'll let, oh, he's back. Hey. Anyway, um, so a lot of people don't know this. There is a ravine back here. That you can. Oh shoot! <laughs> oh dang! I'm not doing that. I'm building across. Uh, and a lot of my first materials came from this ravine. I think it's actually complete. Oh no, there's some iron and stuff still down there. All right. So a lot of people don't know this, but if you turn right around, here's the swamp. This is the swamp where we have been living for the last 50 episodes on the Chexmex server. So we'll head out there, and the f one of the first things I did when I got on here was I built that little house, dug out some materials in the uh, the ravine, and then I started heading this way. I, I told Max, K, I want to go find a place to live. He's like, go for it, buddy. So I left. And at this time, it was just me, him, and EMQ. In fact, I don't even think EMQ was on yet. And we were planning on having a couple, bunch of guys from UKWF on here. And, uh, gosh, who keeps building these pillars out here? I keep taking them down and they keep reappearing. There's another one. Gosh dang it. So I headed out this way. And, uh, little old dust box here. And, uh, not even episode one. This was before I even started recording. I was, well, at least recording on Chexmex. Uh, I was just running around, doing my own thing, not doing much. And I kept heading this way, and I saw the snow biome first, and I thought to myself... Actually, I came out here looking for an extreme hills biome, and to do a little caving. And I saw the snow biome, that it's pretty hilly, for those of you who have been uh, following for a while. And I came right over here, and I explored over here a little bit. And I looked around, and I decided, eh. That's pretty much what I said to myself. I went, eh. And I decided I didn't want to live out here. So I kept going. Slowly I trudged on, carrots in hand, potatoes in my sash, and none of this stuff was here. No pumpkins, no little thing up there, no buildings, nothing. And I ended up seeing, actually probably right here was where I saw it, there's a little cave over there. And I thought to myself, hmm, what a lovely little spot to go caving in. So I decided to go check it out. And inside of that cave, which uh, you can see in episode one, I decided to dig out and make look really pretty. And that area is now what's called the main room of my base. Haha. <laughs> so that, oh, look at all this fire. I am so glad fire spread is off or else I would be screwed. Come on. There we go. So if we go on in there, you'll be able to see the main room. Oh, man, I gotta clean that up yet. So actually the cave, the opening is right here, was right here, and the cave floor came out to probably about right here, and it opened up into a little mouth, a little tunnel, and then in here was this exact room. Uh, it is the exact shape that it was when I found it. I have not dug anything out of it, except for replacing some dirt with stone. It was this exact shape, and I thought, perfect. So I decorated it like this, and uh, that's what ended up happening. The second thing I did, was I dug this way and I found another little cave system that didn't look anything like this. I dug a lot out of here and placed a lot of stuff and I made my bedroom and this was my initial storage area, which never actually took off. And my window, Mexc, when I first started building this, told me I needed a window in my base. And so that's what I did right there. So yeah, this is, this is probably the most, the best base I've ever had. I am most proud of this thing ever. And look, episode 50, aha. <laughs> Oh man, I'm so happy. The second thing that I did, this was all like clogged up here. Like you could barely get through. In fact, I was going through. This was the way to get over there originally. The second thing I did was come over here. And actually, that over there wasn't here. Uh, this room was. And then this actually goes a little bit down further in that way. And I had a little carrot and potato farm over there. But I came over here. And by this time, Rago was on the server. 
And Raigo helped me dig this whole room out with his special diamond pickaxe that I hadn't found yet. I haven't found a diamond pickaxe, and then he helped me dig this out. Actually, I think I dug this out with some stone tools. Anyway, then the next part of the base, which is probably not my favorite, but it's it's a really cool part, is the cave, which I'm still thinking about decking out like this sometime. I dug down here and came down in here made this bridge and this was supposed to be an ice cavern remember but it didn't turn out that way this was blocked off and I just opened this room up and this is what we got built my awesome potion whoops come on come on my awesome potions room in here this is probably my favorite room of my house and then heading on out we have my chicken farm that was a fun episode and let's see what else do we have in here we've got this room this is gonna eventually be the zombie storage room it's got a little work left to do on that let's see here built this bridge in an episode and the mushroom gosh dang okay no hope boyer uh we're gonna have a little talk about the whole gay thing uh it's not cool it's offensive and i'm not very happy with you right now so if you're watching this you know, we're gonna have to have a talk about that. No more gay. It's very offensive. Alright, and then this is my melon farm that I built for a contest video for the Madhouse server, which still is running. I mean, like, the, the contest isn't running, but they're still accepting applications from the original server, which is very exciting. And I still may be able to get on that. If I could get on that, that would make my day. Got my oven room in here, and down here goes to a ravine and a bunch of other stuff. And for those of you who remember the ravine contest, um, the reason why I wanted you to do that was because of the ravine down here. There's a ravine right here, and I wanted to figure out what to do with this. And you guys gave me a bunch of ideas, and I was actually going to choose the winner based on what I wanted to do with it, but I didn't really like any of the ravines as an idea for what to do with my my ravine so we ended up just choosing who we thought was the funniest and all that sort of stuff so anyway next let's let's head on out of my base and we'll go explore some other parts of the server that are very interesting we can go to Rigo's place or we can go to actually let's go to sims sims is my favorite base on the server by far it is fan freaking tastic he has been i remember when we accepted sim Sim is probably my best friend on the server right now. Him and Max, we're all buddies. Him, Max, Greg, oh, jeez, I can't even say that. We're all just best friends. Uh, but Sim, when he first got on the server, I really did not like him. <laughs> I never told you this, buddy, if you're watching. But I really hated you when you first got on the server. And there's only one reason, because I hated your spawn house build. It, the big helmet, I love it now. But originally, it just did not grow on me. And, uh, oh, by the way, this is the nether. <laughs> I was going to explain a little bit about this, but I'm having too much fun talking. Sim, he, he, and you know, eventually, you know, I got to know Sim, and he's the nicest guy ever, and love him to death, and, but jeez, <laughs> that was so mad when you built that house, because it didn't go anything like it. Like the, like I had this whole idea for like a spawn village that looked like, uh, like a cute little, like, medieval village. So, this is Sim's house. This went up in probably about a week. I'm not even kidding. He is the fastest builder I've ever seen in my life. He built this whole thing in like two weeks. Two weeks tops. And he's still working on it, but he just went to town on this thing. And I have my little uh, dinghy boat out here for Team Pink. Letting everyone know that we're, uh, we're broskies in the Team Pink. That's the old uh, sand generator that's broken. <laughs> the SS Dust Dinghy. And uh, yeah, so... Ahoy there, mateys! We be on the dust dinghy. This is supposed to be like generic bees. RV on the Minecraft server. I'm just randomly parking it in people's places. So, this is Sim's house. And, uh... Oh, he's got the only beacon on the server. Let's see, what does he got? He keeps up with it, with the percentages. Oh, he doesn't. Oh, it's in construction. Usually he has, like, a percentage on there, but... This thing is massive. I was so, like in awe about this because I thought that my my arena was pretty big but it turns out that it's not and then I told him you know Sim you should build the arena you should go and just 
completely take it over. I felt so bad. I was like, geez, making my... Because you can see the arena from the top of his base, and you can see his base from the arena. So, <laughs> it's really funny. Anyway, this is his place. He's got some really, really great stuff going on here. Let's see. I like his storage room the best. He's going to do a single double chest, or a double chest for each individual item, which I think is really cool. And he's doing a really good job on these floors, too. But yeah, this is what he's got going on over here. Next, I think we're going to go to Rigo's, and I think we're going to finish up the tour there. We're just about done with this whole thing. Jeez, guys, this is like reminiscent out the wazoo. Remember when Tib Turner came on and took a tour? That was like a four-hour tour, and we had half the stuff that we have now. All right, let's go, and we will keep going. Heading down to Rigo's place. Now, Rigo was the first guy we accepted onto the server. Uh, he built that awesome house, and we were so impressed by it. And the thing that impressed me was his, uh, his church that he had been building that he never finished. I looked around on his uh, channel a little bit. And he had been building a church that was just amazing. Amazing. In fact, I still think his videos are up of it. So go check out Rigo's channel. And I'm, I'm going to link everybody's channel that we're visiting today in the description. And uh, we, you guys can go check out their channels. And I really suggest you check them out because these guys are great. All right. Um, down to Rigo's place. Rigo. Rigo's a great guy. He... He's not Swedish, he's Dutch, he's a flying Dutchman, I found that out the hard way the first time I pranked him, and uh, yeah, into the cart we go. This is his nether hallway that is fantastic, I love the way he made this look, it's so fancy, he's planning on having animals in all these little pens and stuff like that, and then as we go he's got this cool little thing, right there is the skeleton farm, that was our first place where we could gain EXP. It was a very, very cool day when we had that all built. Thank you, Rigo. You are the master of it. Oh yeah, I forgot these guys avoid stepping on rails now. They're not like afraid of them, but they just, they don't do it as much so that they don't interrupt the process. So there's a couple things we need to see at Rigo's place. If you watched the previous, couple previous episodes, you'll know. So this was his first portal. And he walked out for hours looking for an extreme hills biome and he finally found it, but lo and behold, there's one right on the other side, right in the other opposite direction that he started searching for one in, at the spawn. So there's a really nice extreme hills biome there that I'm thinking about taking over and building something there. But, oh, wow, look at all those blown out caves and stuff. This is his area. Right there, as you can see, is um, his tower and all his cool stuff. And I can't go any further to show you the secret Team Pink hideout because there's been a mishap with it. <laughs> and uh, that you'll see that in the next episode with Mr. Simix. Anyway, uh, Rigo97, that crazy kid. This is where the first prank that I ever pulled was, and I made everything pink, and Team Pink was born that day. I'm gonna try to look down so you can't see the Team Pink hideout. Over here, he's got some cool, like, little village area going on. It's not furnished. But it's looking nice. Way to go, Rigo. We love you. And right over here, this is a prank that he hasn't cleaned up yet, by the way. Here's his little house, I think. This is his. I thought this was supposed to be a uh, little farmhouse, but it's not. It's actual house. And here's the satanic building that nobody on the server enjoys. This is his portal house that everybody hates because of this. These dang iron doors. I hate iron doors, and these, they lag out everything, and these more iron doors, they're just terrible. They're the worst thing in the entire world. Now, I'm going to actually finish off the tour somewhere else. A uh, little-known place known as Mexx... Oh, hey, now. Yeah, I know you have to be like up against a wall to be able to take off now. Thanks, Bullet. I think Bullet's the one who explained that to me. Uh, very helpful, very helpful hint. Get out of here. If I hit you, would you chase me down? Probably, I'm not going to test that. <laughs> anyway, a lot of you guys have been wondering, um, where Mex lives. 
And that's and why I haven't gotten Max back for his stinking uh, pre the first prank ever pulled on the server, which was the pumpkin army in the arena. And there's a couple reasons for that. One, pranking Max's property would probably be an improvement to it. In fact, I'm thinking about pulling a good deed day and uh, going and building a house for Max so he can live somewhere because I miss him. And he hasn't been on the server lately and I really, really need to talk to him about a bunch of different stuff and I really miss him because I don't get to talk to him anymore. And that's probably my fault for kind of ditching him for a little while with the whole single player and Omega days, but... We're back on Chex Mex, and I'm here to stay. I'm sorry, guys. I feel really bad about that still. Oh, really quickly, over here, this is the unfinished uh, market area. And here's the thing to go to the village. Had a couple episodes down in there. If we move on down the road, we'll be able to see a little bit more. Go on in here. And this is Mex's portal. Mex's. Crazy guy. Now this is his house. You guys may have seen this in the Tib Tuner video. This is where we ended the video, but he doesn't have anything here. So this is why we haven't pranked him. But I'm thinking about having a Team Pink donation day where we're going to go and trick out, pimp out, whatever, Mex's house because he really needs it. Maybe even getting a hold of uh, Top Mass and seeing if he wants to come in and do a Pimp My Minecraft thing for him. That would be funny as heck. So guys, thanks so much for watching. Um, if you enjoyed this video, leave a comment, like. If you haven't yet, subscribe. Be sure to do all that sort of good stuff. Help me out. So, oh. Oh my gosh, what is this? Is that... Oh my gosh, that's Blackjack's house. Oh man, I didn't realize that they were this close together. Oh, this is hilarious. I mean, it's okay, Blackjack, don't get me wrong, because Mex is not even going there, but I'm thinking about having a day to build him a new house, but this is amazing. I didn't realize that Blackjack lived this close to Mex's quote-unquote house. Yeah, well, I guess we'll finish off at... Uh, oh, that's right, I have thorns on at Blackjack's house. So Blackjack, congratulations, you're the end here. Also, you guys, I showed you this in uh, an episode or two ago. That's how I know he hasn't been back on. I got him the 15 pieces of ice, so now I'm waiting for my reward. Waiting for my reward. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Be sure you rate, comment, and subscribe. And I hope to see you guys on the next episode. <laughs> see you guys later.